Hi, I'm Ambry and this is Ambry's Corner and welcome back to my channel. If you're a new viewer, watch subscriber, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, watch subscriber, welcome back. Hi guys, I am back today with another video. Today's video is a catch-up TV episode. Wanda's Vision catch-up TV episode to be exact. No, it was last week I finished the whole series. And I know you're talking, you watch stuff like this? Yes, I am. I've been keeping a little secret from y'all. I'm actually a very big Marvel fan. I love Marvel. I love DC. We love it. So let's just let me just give y'all a little synopsis about uh Wanda. Wanda's story, I think Wanda's story picks up after in game. Wanda, if you haven't seen that, I would suggest you go watch. I'm not gonna give like a full synopsis of Wanda. But I think um in 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 game, I'm yeah, in game. Vision, Wanda's soulmate, he dies in Endgame. At first, we don't really see her grieve, but like, as as the show goes on, we see her. We see like everything that was going on with her before everything transpired with the beginning of the show. Like all the things and the steps that take place before all that happened, what led up to that moment, what happened. You know, some of the people that maybe were responsible for it getting to that point. Because I think I think her biggest thing when it happened was like trying to give Vision a funeral, trying to say goodbye, her final goodbyes. I think the the person that kind of like drove her to the brink was kind of, was not really a big help in that he didn't really I don't know do anything to try to prevent her from getting to that point. He just kind of was looking out for himself. So I did come up with like a few questions that I wanted to answer. In this video just to keep me on track because I'm one of the people I like to talk and when I get to talking I get off all base I get off, I get all off base and I can't get back on track so yeah so I did lay out like a little couple and there's no telling I still might rumble in within these questions so let's get to this first question do you think Wanda was justified in the way she dealt with her grief um yes and no I do believe that I do believe that Wanda was felt so long, so lonely that her grief kind of turned into something a little bit more, you know, bigger. You know, her grief, to, to I mean, to have to feel like that, because she didn't just lose vision in that, um, in that big war. She lost her brother as well. So, imagine going, having two people that you so depend on to having nobody. And, you know, as we go into the show, you see... We see how Wanda and her brother lost them their, their their parents, and we kind of see like what transpired at the toward, at the end with um her after you know her parents, and then kind of maybe like the toll that losing Vision and her brother in one took on her like I could see how that would drive anybody to the brink of insanity, and I would really think. Wanda was insane because if you look at like the route she took, most people would just try to kill everybody. They would just turn bad and try to kill people for no reason. She didn't want to hurt nobody. She just created a reality where nobody was in danger. Um, everybody was safe. Everybody was you know acting happy, and she kind of like had like the kind of life that she's always wanted. And she kind of lived her life the way she's always viewed normal families to be. You know what I mean? If, if you notice, like, if you if you watch the series, you notice that Wanda's with, Wanda was deeply obsessed with, you know, sitcoms, modern family era. We saw her, like, you know, kind of use those, those sitcoms as a reference for, like, the world that she had created. So, yeah, I think I think it's justified in a way. The only thing, the only way I don't see it really being justified is the fact that you know, if a person kind of didn't fit her her description of the people that she was using as you know, like forerun forerunners for the show, they kind of like didn't exist. They was hidden away. We didn't see them. And you learn, you know, later on in the show that, you know, people had children, husbands, and stuff that were kind of like, just like, pop, 
in in like a standstill because they couldn't really move throughout this new reality because they did they didn't have a role or a place in the reality um I think the, the next question is um is it just me or is vision fine yeah vision was nice looking like I I, I the, when I first seen him in Endgame when they all went looking for like people to help you know he really didn't appeal to me then but like watching him on Wonders Vision like I see the appeal with you know Vision like he actually like very nice looking even in the red like I think the red little alien you know little persona he had it, it, it did he was nice looking even when he went into human form he was still very nice looking man like that's a nice looking man no cap no cap he didn't do it for me in the movies but on the show he was, he was nice looking he was real nice looking um do you think this is the end of Wanda's story I kind of I kind of felt like they could have brought Vision back to life I don't know why I felt like he could have been brought back to life through this, through, through the eyes of like the what you call like, he could have stayed living. Um, I guess that wasn't, I guess it wasn't realistic because Wanda kind of like created it. You know what I mean? She brought, she didn't bring him back to life, but she kind of like, she was grieving him so much that like she unknowingly brought him back. And so I think that's, um, I think. I think I don't, I think this is the end of her story. I think this is like, cause I feel like they, they the way they're making it look in Agatha's um in all, Agatha all along is that she's dead. I'm not sure if she is, but I feel like that's what it's giving in in Agatha all along. But we didn't see her die in Wanda's vision. Like when Wanda when Wanda flew off, I figured like maybe she was going to make peace. I don't know. I don't know. We don't know. We really don't know what her headspace was. I know that she had just taken down Agatha. And, you know, she kind of, like, basically, you know, gave her family up. So, like, I don't know. I don't know. But I felt like that could have been a better outcome for her and her and her envision. I really do. I feel, um, why do, why, why was Wanda blind to Agatha? In Wanda's vision, the little, the little reality she created, the little TV show, little TV sitcom show she created, there was no bad. There was nobody there that was bad. There was no evil. You know, you had, like, you had, like, mean people, but, like, just not, just not nobody there, which is, like, so bad that they, they, they could take over the world and that. Day. I think because Wanda, like, kind of had it set up that everybody pretty much moved how she told them to move because remember Wanda is kind of like um telepathic so like she could she could basically tell people to do make them do whatever she want them to do say whatever she want them to say that whole thing so she, that was a way that she, that was a way that she could have if she muted them internally like muted their feelings their thoughts their actions, their movements, then she wouldn't have been able to catch it. But then she didn't catch Agatha anyway because as we seen Agatha was playing since all along like Wanda wasn't really in control of Wanda's vision. Agatha was <laughs> before it was over with. Like she ran that. And we see that like we see that as she's telling Wanda, you know, you think you've been in control this whole time. Really, I've been setting you up since the beginning. Like every trap I set you falling into, like like that you and then like in the house, like we remember when her when her children had went over to sit with Agatha for the day. Even the children said, I like it over here because she's not my mom our mom is not in our head so much. So I feel like, you know, that was probably the first time her children were able were really able to like be children and to um I don't know. And Agatha had like placed a spell so that, you know, when she was she when she was in her house, she kinda moved how she wanted to move. But I think even then she was moving how she wanted to move anyway. So um 
I think that's part of the reason why Wanda was blind to Agatha. I think she was so she was so desperate for something to hold on to that anything could have probably got past her. Anything. I mean, we see like that slow, like the, the character slowly slowly start to break as time goes on. Like people like asking her, "Can you please free this person?" Or I need to get in touch with my family. You know, we see that, and we also see Vision see it, and he's trying to like get her to see that she needs to fix this, and make this right. In some kind of way, you know. But yeah. Um. But yeah, that's that's that's, that's but those are basically like my thoughts on um one decision. It was a good show. I watched. It. I am watching Agatha, Agatha all along now. Um. If y'all would like for me to do like a catch up TV episode on that, I can. We'll see. But yeah. Um. That is it for this video. I hope you liked. It. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, and understand what you want to hear. What you want to see, and I'll do my very best to make it happen for you. And I will see you next one.